Hi folks, in this video we're going to run through quickly how to um, use the data generator inside of Test Complete. So if there are any um, you know, hard-coded values that currently exist in your test that you would like to data drive, um, you could go up to Test and Generate Data. And from there, we'll have the ability to either generate individual values or full tables. I'm going to stick with the full table. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and pick and choose how much data and what type of data. So how many columns do you want? So that's going to be the insert button. And then the column name is pretty important. If it matches the field that you're populating, it will help autocorrelate things later on. And then the data generator column is the more important one. That's where you're going to specify the type of data you're actually putting in. So as you can see, there's lots of options here. Value from set allows you to actually input your own data and then specify the, um, you know, how that actually gets generated sequentially, so on and so forth. Uh, custom string actually allows you the ability to leverage any of the macros that live inside of Test Complete already. So you can see this one is leveraging the integer, a name, as well as the city. But you can see all of the macros are available in here, and you could literally create you know, full names, addresses, um, city, state, zip, really anything you want in here. Yeah, hopefully this is uh, going to help make your testing a little bit easier. Happy testing.